Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul. We're on our regular playthrough on the 4.2 update. Um, so we are picking up right where we left off. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do a little more search for Artemis. We are, there we go, looking for a long-distance transmitter. Uh, to reestablish contact, we first locate a long-distance transmitter. Uh, they can be found on many planets, such as such a device might be powerful enough to establish a stable connection. So here we go. Let's get up here. Oh, looks like one has already been detected. Isn't that cool? All right, I didn't have to do a thing. It is 11 minutes away by foot. 50 minutes away, 2 minutes away, 1 minute away, 19 seconds away. Okay. I guess we'll go there by ship. Sounds to me like it might be a little bit closer this way. It says approximate location. Now, these terminuses... These hollow terminus things will be pretty easy to find. They're big. Big honking things. So, I, before you begin and land and search, just take a look around. Oh. What was that? Hold on. You see that icon up there? That yellow one with the... That is a lost traveler. That's a gravestone. Look at that. It's good to go ahead and check these out when you find them. Uh, I asked a question that no one had asked. It was a simple... The Sentinels. What are the... Where did... Do they come from, basically? Made it my life's work to find. Left logs, records across worlds. The fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. Extract the glyph and that's what you want. I obtain the glyph, and with it, the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I lead the fallen traveler in peace. So we get our first of 16 glyphs that way. So this was an accidental discovery. I didn't expect to find that here. That's a good thing. So it says that my place that I need to go is about that direction, about 480 units away. I'm kind of surprised, because I should have been able to see it from my ship, but I didn't. I ain't down there. Should be a big honking platform in that direction. Okay. Let's Tom and Jerry it by foot. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is. Right there. That thing right there. That's what we're looking for. Okay. So it's 400 units away. Uh, to that direction. Okay. What in the world am I doing? Do I damage myself? No. No? Okay, good. Good grief. All I did was twist my ankle a little bit. Not a bad looking planet, really, even at night. There it is. And you see it has a gliding pad over there. And if you hit, even if you're a little bit further out, if, you, if it turns green on you, it'll land your ship for you. And that way you don't lose any launch fuel. Now, I've already used a little bit, but it's okay. All right. Unfortunately, we don't have any uh, jetpack upgrades, so we have to use our feet to get to the top of this. And climb ladders. So it takes a couple moments. So feel free to go to the restroom, get some coffee, cook yourself a dinner. This takes a couple moments. I'll yell really loud and tell you when I'm back, okay? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Here we go. All right, we finally made it. Now this one, the only one you ever have to repair. See? And it requires... Sodium. Technology That's the only time you'll have to do this. Hollow Terminus activated, multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. The extra power should allow me to reestablish the connection to Artemis. Tuned Artemis frequency. I try to locate Artemis' frequency, uploading the data from our previous communication. And you want to watch it, and there's the graphics. It goes in there. You stand on this platform here. He shows up right across from you. Who's... who's there? You... it's you again, isn't it? You really are real, aren't you? You aren't a dream? Say you are real. Or better yet, I'm going to say I hope so. Say you hope so. I'm sorry. 
It's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the... It's easy to create a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry. I haven't heard another voice in so long. Not since I cut the speaker from my exosuit. It said such terrible things. Well, that's weird. Ask who they are. The stranger smiles through the static. I'm just like you. You are a traveler of worlds, aren't you? Ask how they know. They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision, a red star, and a fragile world. They do not, I do not understand the shapes within. The whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxies. I see this stranger's first breath yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the crimson void, waiting for a dream of worlds. And through the darkness, I hear it said. Anomaly detected. Designation Traveler. Awaken. What I showed you just now, it has haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it too. We are the travelers, discoverers of worlds. From the moment you opened your eyes, you must have known you were not like the others. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey to finally meet. It cannot be a coincidence that you found this signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from that crashed ship? I'm going to do something different here. I always upload the data. I'm going to mention Nada and see what happens. Who? Please, I have to see that data. Don't toy with me. I don't have time. Okay, upload the data. I always wondered. I upload my exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found at the crashed vessel. Much of my equipment is damaged. I'm alone, on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know how your signal is reaching me. But this ship you found, it belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. Uh, dude, I sold it. Kidding. We need to work out where we both are. If you build signal boosters across this system, we should be able to triangulate your position. I'll be able to find my way out, and you'll all you'll get all the answers you seek. Agree with the plan. Thank you, Traveler. You're going to save my life. You're going to find me. Okay. And then it's over. So we now have been given a brand new part that we can build, a signal booster. It requires a metal plate, a carbon nanotube, and 15 sodium. So it's a good thing we got that. So uh, let's take the fast way down, shall we? There we go. So our ship is over here. Now... Don't forget, whenever you come to these things, especially if you don't have a lot of navigation data, gather up what items you got over here. Right? Because you could get some things that you could use. And this gives you 10 nanites, and it gives you some... It saves your, it saves your game, of course, and gives you navigation data while you're at it. So we need to make... And we got a memory fragment. Look at that. Ooh. I didn't, I forgot that they, that they did that. Let's go ahead and do it. Really? Okay, good deal. We got an upgrade for our uh, booster. It's not much, but it's, it's, hey, every little thing counts, you know? All right, so we need to make a carbon nanotube and one metal plate. Okay, we, we definitely need more carbon. So now we can make a signal booster, as you can see. So we put it down. We're going to go ahead and select it. Triangulate position. So we hit one. And we have triangulated. Don't leave it behind. Take it with you. Now, while we're here, um, like I said, we definitely need some carbon. Um, I got some trees over there I can get, I guess. There is another way you can get some carbon, though. Show you a little trick. Something you want to do... When you take off... Now, these ships don't hover, unfortunately. But try to take out some trees. Because you save yourselves... Stuff. And you'll hit the ground once in a while like that. But if you stay stationary long enough, you can pick up stuff. Oop, I think we killed an animal by accident. Don't forget you have those. Oh, there was, uh... 
other carbon there, the other carbon. We'll get a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Don't worry about it, like I keep saying. There we go. Condensed carbon is what I was after there. Oh, those didn't hit anything. There we go. Another tree. All right, let's see what we've gathered so far. Probably not a lot, but... Yeah, good. That's a good amount. We've got some oxygen. Got a little bit more ferrite. We'll hang on to that for now. Uh, I don't know what we'll do with it. Condensed carbon, good, and some dihydrogen. So that gives us enough in our inventory to get by, as you can see. 300 carbon, so we're, we're in a much better shape than we were before. Okay, um, so we want to move on to the next site. So, the next site is normally on a different planet. Yep, there's one out there. Let's go ahead and take that one. Let's get back out of this. Now, we've been to this planet. That's Boiling Doom. You know what? While we're here, we ought to do this, because we haven't really discovered any of the rest of the planets. Let's just take a quick peek. Uh, that's one. Which one is this one? Shell strewn. So there's nothing there. That's good to know. That is lifeless. Interesting. Salvageable scrap. We can get some money there. I think we've done this before. Boiling, and then there's the moon that we haven't actually been on. And it looks like an Arctic moon. And I, th now that I remember, yeah, I remember, I remember going there. So, not going there, but discovering that as being a... There we go. As being a, uh, uh, what do you call it, moon? Arctic. Very cold. Now, if you look at the bottom right, it's telling you what we're going to be doing next, but it also shows you that little lightning bolt. That is your pulse engine fuel and tells you where you are in regards to your fuel. If you want to charge it, you can press that. This needs to be updated, but we'll worry about that later. We're not too bad on that, but I'm going to go ahead and put some uranium in there. I will go ahead and update the pulse engine as well. We can use this or pyrite. I'm going to use the pyrite. Okay. There we go. Suitable site located. Now you notice it's not saying approximate. So it really wants you to land here. And drop your beacon down. Alrighty. Do a quick search and you'll see that there is actually something there. Not sure what it is, but... Oh, drop pod, what do you know? That's handy. Very handy. You know, we can get ourselves an upgrade while we're here. What we'll need is one of these. And a carbon nanotube. And we'll need sodium, which we got plenty of. Oh, no, 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 we need the other sodium. Let's do that real quick. We need 10. That figures. I need 4. There we go. Let's go ahead and get our navigation data. The extra free nanites. We'll take a quick peek and make sure there's nothing here that we can gather up, which doesn't look like. And let's go ahead and grab this. Alright. Antimatter housing, sodium nitrate, carbon nanotube. And now we can upgrade our exosuit again. Uh, so now we can start really moving along here, so I'm going to go ahead and start getting one there. Excellent. So it didn't cost us too, too much to get that. Okay, let's drop our signal booster down. One more time, triangulate position. And we're done. Just that simple. Ready for next position. Okay, where to? Looks like it's over this way. Now that may be back on the same planet we just came from, but... Shells... Strewn planet. That is definitely not the paradise planet. So let's take a look at it and see what we think of it. 
So this is one that we have not, you see it says unmapped, we have not landed on this planet at all. So this will be first. And we're about halfway through our episode. There we go. Coming in for a landing. Coming in hot. We could do a flyby. Sorry, Ghost Rider. Pattern is full. Ooh, what do we have here? Landing pad. Ooh, that'll find us a... Oh, this is an abandoned one. Do we, uh, do we need anything? We're pretty good on money. I mean, we could always use more, but... So, we can do a little bit of fun on this one. Let's go ahead and drop our signal booster down and just get this done. Yeah, okay, we know. Stop it. Triangulate. Okay, so we're done there. How much inventory space we got? Looks like we got enough. And we could do it. Yeah, why not? What do you say? Let's, uh, let's tick off a couple of, uh, these creatures for a little bit. Hey, guys. I'll go over here. You guys just talk amongst yourselves. Okay, let's go over here. Oops. Dee -dee -dee. Oh, hello. Ha ha, you missed me. You didn't. How you doing? <laughs> he did he whoops. Hey, he kinda Alright, I'll skip that batch. I'll go over here. Unbelievable. Dee 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 dee. Any more left over here? Nope, none left over there. Next. Some butterflies over there or something. Alright, next batch. Ooh, he actually hit me. Okay, got that one. Uh, that one's already empty. There, I got this last one from this batch. This one's empty now. Right in front of you, my friend. I think that one's just about empty. That one's empty. <laughs> missed. Uh, actually, I don't think he missed. I think he actually got me that time. Alright, anybody here? No? Nope. All done there, right? Oh, there is one. Nope, that one's done. I think there was only like one or two left. Nope, nothing there. I don't know where it was. Nope, not there. No, I think we're done. Alright, let's go inside. Alright. So how, how many did we end up with? Nice, 16 of them. How much does that value that? 700 and 400. So, not bad. 11, 1.1 million. Awesome. I'd say it was pretty good. And this is an observatory. It'll find something on another planet. Um, beacon was received. Transmission. And you just need to enter a different sequence. So it goes 12-12, then 21-21, 12-12. Obviously, it's 21-21 again. And it'll do this. And it'll pinpoint a location on another planet that you can find an artifact. That was interesting. What did it just give me? Let's see. Didn't say. Okay. But we have an ancient ruin on an off the planet someplace that we can go to. So let me see. It doesn't look like any of our guys are floating around anymore. So the swarm has gone away. Let's check these guys out. Hmm. Nice. How many creatures are on this planet? Oh, one of one. You know what we're going to get? We're going to get a reward. So if we go here to our planet, so if you find all the creatures on a planet, see, hold the register and you get a nanite bonus. Now, because it's only one, you just get the one, and it's still 250. But some of these planets that have six and eight, 
or even sometimes if you get lucky, you find one that has 10 or 12, you'll get thousands of nanites. It's really, really handy. That's a good way to collect them. You know, early game anyway. Until you can start fighting. Yeah, see, it's going to give us the achievement as well. Naturalist discovered all species on one planet. Okay, so we're done with this. You'll notice that we return to space. We're going to try to triangulate. That only took us a couple minutes grabbing those things, and we can sell them later. So always look for opportunity to make economic advancement in this game. There we go. Let's see what Artemis needs. When I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. And here we are, aren't we? Go to a hollow terminus, upload your data, let's find each other. End communication. Alright, so we hit C. Hollow terminus detected. Where it be? This way. Uh, oh, it happens to be on the planet where our ancient grounds are. So you know what? Let's do the ancient ruin real quick. We got we got inventory space. We have nine minutes left in our video. It should be more than enough time to, to, to dig this up. So this is an opportunity here, folks, that you can learn. So you see this planet doesn't really have anything else going for it. It's a hot planet. But if we can go to this place, we might be able to get something that's worth quite a bit of, you know, money. Again, always look for the opportunity to make a little bit of economic advancement for yourself. To make some cash. Wow, okay. That was really kind of strange. It's a pretty cool ship. I, I mean, I'm still partial to the Sentinel ships and the uh, solar ships, actually. Sentinel ships have now turned into my favorite, but the solar ships are pretty cool. Alright, so we have Ancient Ruin. You notice it doesn't say Approximate again. This is going to pinpoint the location for us. And there it is. So this is going to lead us to one other place after this. All right. So let's. Uh... I have no idea what in the world that was. That was the strangest thing I've ever seen or heard of. I have no clue. Oh, you know what? This is a boiling doom. Oh, you know what's on this planet? It's got the whispering eggs everywhere. I wonder if this has tendrils as well. All right, let's learn some words. Gek, gek, gek. Voy, voy, voy. Sound resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. Small alien life form kneels before me. They are tired, beaten. Without meeting my gaze, they offer up their hand. Accept knowledge. The name Gek floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. And anytime you learn f about a new language, you'll get that. And after that, it's just you get the word. I convulse as I reach out and touch the beauty stone marker. Beautiful stone marker. My mind filling with a deadly knowledge of the true history of the Gek. We are the masters of galaxies, the overlords of the cosmos. Each foe will submit and with bended knee to the almighty Gek Dominion. We are the first spawn. Look upon our works and despair. I'm going to skip the language. We're going to go with knowledge of the past. That'll lead us to an ancient, another, a different ancient ruin where we could dig something up. Historical data is in that direction. Usually not too, too far away. Yeah, 26 minutes, so by ship it only take a few seconds. We're going to go out the main exit here so we can get the other word, and that's what will get you on every single secondary word thereafter. Alright. Let's go check it out. Boom, baby. And it is... How far? That's not where we're going. We're going here. It is 40 seconds. Okay, well, that's not too bad. I think we can spare 40 seconds. It'll get us to the 25-minute mark. And we can do a little scan once in a while to see what's around. Looks like we have a hut or something down here. Yep, just a... Uh, just a landing pad. Nothing special going on there. Continue on. Sometimes you'll come across, like if you look at this display here, um, the radar, if you come across crashed ships, they'll show us like a little square or diamond-shaped icon 
on your display as it passes below you. So you can keep an eye open for those if you wish. Oh, looks like we're here. Now one of the, the, the wonderful things about these places, these ancient ruins, is that they're also a protected area from the elements of the location. So you'll see, even though it's sweltering or there might be a storm going on at the time, you'll see there's no... There's nothing at the bottom right corner. So the place that we're going for is a little cache right down here. Here's a large artifact crate. Okay. What you need, though, is you need to gather up these little ones, these artifact fragments. You need three of them to get the keys to open up the large artifact crate. I'm going to show you real quick where you can find them. Always this one spot here is where the large artifact crate is. If you look at this archway here, turn up. Oh, you can turn on your light if you wish. Turn on your terrain manipulator. And you're going to see it leads to a path. Large setting. Follow the path down just a little ways and you come across an artifact fragment. When you open it, you get an ancient key. You need two more of those. There is one inside this building that's easy to get to. There it is. That's your second one. And if you follow this path, you think it goes straight down? Not quite. You see it starts curving to the right. Follow the curve. And there's your third one. Easiest three keys you can get. Now, you'll also notice at the top of this is a Gravitino ball. They're worth quite a bit. But don't get it until you're done getting your treasure. Because you will get the uh, Sentinels after you. So you remember I said the artifact crate was right here? Straight down. And... Clear out the sediment. You see it's right there. Okay. There we go. And it requires a key. One key, two keys, three keys. And you now get whatever's inside. It looks like I got a rare item. 848 years old. Desiccated herbivore shell. And if you're wondering, it is worth 800,000 units by itself. Yep, there's one of the... Uh, Titan worms. Yeah, I thought he was going through earlier. Okay. So now, if we want that Gravitino ball, I'm going to show you a little thing about that. We don't... Whoops. <laughs> we don't have any weapons on us, but as soon as you grab it... And there's, by the way, there's another one right there if you want to get it. There is a third one over here, but you can't get it. Just go for that one. Okay, so if I grab this... See? Sentinels pop up. And they will attack you. So we're going to grab the second one. And you need to run away. You know, to the top right corner, they're searching for you. Just run away for 30 seconds. You know what we could use? We could use some gold. And I just realized there's probably armored clams down there. Let's do a little research while we're here and grab some armored clams. What do we need gold for? We need gold to build base items. Here we go. Hey. We'll check out the biological life forms that are under here too while we're at it. 14 life forms on this planet? Do you have any idea how much money you can make on that? And they're done looking for you. See, they gave up. Not money, I should say. I should say nanites. Now, you can't stay underwater long, because just like any place else, you can drown. Look at the bottom. Oop, gotta stay away from him. He'll burn you. There we go. So, we're gonna charge our life support. We're gonna use... Let's use the life support gel. We will get more stuff later on. So these armored clams, they are very handy. They give you living pearls, and living pearls are worth their weight in gold, per se. And it looks like this one is under the ground. Always shoot to one side, try not to shoot directly at them. See? Looks like there was a cave in there. And we're going to switch over to this. And all you have to do is shoot them, but they cannot hurt you. Grab the pearl. Oops. Where's the hole I just dug? Q. 
Can't find your hole. By the way, if you go over here and you harvest those, your oxygen supply is replenished. So, little trick you learned of the trade there. Armored Clam is right there as well. Let's go over to this one. I'm just going to grab a couple of them because they give you some decent uh, gold out of them. Ah, that one's on the surface there. You can use your jet underwater, but it does use more power. There we go. Oh, there's two of them. Ha ha, I got them both at the same time. Awesome. That should be enough for now. Crystal sulfides are very handy too if you want to get them from those vents, but I'm going to hold off on that. So now that the Sentinels have calmed down, which they have a while ago, I know, and we're at the 30 minute mark of our episode, we are going to complete out the Artemis thing, meet them at the Hollow Terminus, and then we're going to call this one. Let's get back to our ship. Not quite steep enough for it to register that we're going up too steep of a slope, so we have to wait, unfortunately. And you notice the weather's starting to affect us again, right? Still thinks it's hot. All right, but watch what happens as soon as we get up onto this plateau. There we go, right about now. Now? How about now? Now? Any second. There it goes. Now it's going back the other way. And just to show you what I mean by that, if I put this down, you don't even need a whole lot of uh, carbon for this one. We take those living pearls, which are work worth a little bit, but they give you gold. And each one gives you 100 gold. It takes all of a second. It's worth it to grab a couple when you can. And see, so we got 50, 50 gold over there. I'm going to just add that to it. And we'll keep this over here. And we're going to sell these, and we'll sell these. And these are worth uh, 40000 a piece, so they're really worth quite a bit. Yeah, and these can't really hurt you. Sometimes they can knock you for a loop. If you're standing underneath one, and when it comes out, it'll knock you into space just about. But it's okay. It's not really, They're not usually going to hurt you. All right, let's head over to Artemis real quick, and we'll call this an episode. So you see, we did we did some good stuff here. Um, we got some extra materials. We got some extra stuff worth some money. We're going to get a couple more million out of that. And hopefully we can get ourselves a really decent ship. One of these days. So we'll pulse drive our way over to this last spot here. Let's talk to Artemis and we'll close out our episode. Really trying to get there quicker, but it does take a couple extra seconds, folks. Sorry. Kind of a decent planet. Don't mind it. A little too hot for my taste. So early game. Remember what I told you. Gather up what materials you can. If there's free stuff here, grab it while you can. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff going on around me. It's not going to hurt me. It's okay. Life support gel. How nice. That's that's convenient. Save. Good, good, good. All right. And you recall there's some place over here. Looks like we got some buried technology as well. Um, didn't give us something. That gave us nanites. Okay. And this one is... There we go. How much do we get? Three. Nice. Let's go in here and just make sure there's nothing left for us here. We're going to learn a word in Gek. We'll get some more nanites. Nice. What do we get? Nice. Another 60 nanites. Awesome. That's good. I don't know if the other building has anything in it. Uh, not really. We got this. I think I'll, I'll go ahead and grab it anyway, just in case my health had dropped, but I don't think so. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And let's get up to the hollow terminus. So if you got a pretty decent backpack, you can go up that way. 
My backpack is not that strong yet. And as you're climbing a ladder, you notice your backpack does not recharge. There we go. That's another trick you can try. As soon as you attach yourself to the ladder, hit your jackpack and you can fly up the ladder. That gets you there a little quicker. Terminus activated. Multiple signals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've already gone through that. We're going to activate it and... Funk. Let's talk to Artemis. Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Confirm. Excellent. We're really getting somewhere. Hold on. I'll just... Artemis transmits some data of their own. A star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old-fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translator through so you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words. End communication. Good luck, or maybe see you soon. So we get the Artemis translator, right? So it needs a microprocessor and 100 copper to build that. So in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and build that. And then we're going to go ahead and, and we got to install it up here. So I'm going to go ahead and get it installed to start with so that it's there. So we need a microprocessor and we need copper. We don't have any copper on us, of course. Uh, microprocessor is usually pretty easy to get. Oh, I can't build it yet. Ooh, that was a waste. I'm sorry. Shouldn't have done that. Hmm, got a convergence cube somewhere. I have no idea where that came from. Okay, but anyway, that is what we'll do. We're going to craft or purchase the microprocessor. We can't craft them first. Wait, it said craft it. Does that mean it gave me the recipe? No? Okay, well, no big deal. And then we're going to go ahead and see what we can do about getting ourselves talking to Artemis's friends and doing all kinds of neat stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this chapter closed at this point, and we'll pick up the next episode. So I'll see you there. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or just comments, drop them in the comments section. Again, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.